y'all, it's Katie. Welcome back to another Animal Crossing New Horizons video. Today, this is a, uh, a different intro for me because I am not at an airport. I am in fact on Calico right now. Here's a little bit of a sneak peek as to what I've been working on for my new theme. It's a massive flower field that's a part of the county fair. Anyway, I digress. Today is not about me. Oh no, today is about 13 amazing island creators who have really cool farms on their island. And I wanted to show you guys different ideas, maybe give you some inspiration on different farms you could put on your island. So if you like videos like this and being inspired by Animal Crossing creators, make sure to hit that subscribe button as I do put out new Animal Crossing videos every Wednesday and Friday. Also, if you guys are curious, the way that I gathered all of these islands is through my discord as well as through twitter moving forward it could be on instagram as well make sure to follow me on those accounts if you want to submit your island for a video just like this one with that said y'all let's go ahead and take a look at 13 different farms to inspire you for your animal crossing island so this first island that we're going to be inspired by is almost like a three farm in one. Also, this sign is just so fresh. But there are three mini farms right here. This is just a tiny little patch of lavender. It looks like a little apiary, maybe some honey pots, which I think is so quaint, so cozy and sweet. And then as we move along this way, Dobie almost has his own farm to table type of element happening here. and. I absolutely adore these three items next to one another. We have the mush stool, we have the watermelon beach ball, and then we have the call. Oh my gosh, I almost literally called it the cauliflower stool. It's the mum cushion, the one on the far left, but it is customized to be the color white and it looks like cauliflower. So absolutely loving those details with the wind turbines behind. And then the third little one is over here, which might I just say, I'm obsessed with this item. This lamp just reminds me of cherry tomatoes. I think it's so adorable and looks so nice whenever it's lit up. And the cacao trees. I'm biased because I used these on a previous farm build of my own, but I think they look so nice because of that burlap type of sack planter that's on the bottom. They, they, they really look like you're picking up a tree from a nursery and you're about to plant plant it into your own farm. So I absolutely love it. <laughs> this next farm is so cute because it is almost like a bee apiary chicken coop hybrid, which I mean, come on, how stinking adorable are these umbrellas that are decorated to look like chickens. Then we have some umbrellas in the back as well that look like um, just little boxes of hay to feed them and the simple panels, everything here is just so stinking cute. I'm really, really loving everything that the creator did from having the gnome there. Also the custom design with the spills of honey on the ground are so precious, but I'm loving the detail too with all of the different color flowers. We have the stunted trees and what a nice way to combine two different animals like a bee and a chicken and giving them their own space. I think that's so creative, so unique, and it also works so well within the same color scheme. So I was super inspired by this, that there are no rules with farms. I think it's just really fun and an adorable way to combine different items too. I think it's just great. Now, right here is a beautiful lavender farm for maple. And I also really enjoy the little apiary details as well. You can kind of sense a theme with all of these farms too, that a lot of people are using those bee boxes, using the bee models as well, um, which I just think is really, really nice. But one of my favorite elements about this little farm in particular are how the flowers are compartmentalized, right? So you have these four little plots of flowers. They're two by three each, I believe. And I just think they look so nice. Also, can we talk about how cute Marty is right now exploring in Maple's yard. It's just adorable. But I really, really love this lavender farm and I think it's so quaint, it's so cozy, and y'all know me, all I want to do is just run through the flowers. Um, <laughs> but I think it's just so, 
so breathtaking and a wonderful use of these purple flowers too and giving Mabel her own little area just to keep for herself I think was really really sweet. Now on this island, I thought this was a really great example on how a farm can be placed right in front of a residence house, a main house. So here you have the watermelon patch and then you have all of these pumpkins too. We were so lucky in the fall to get that update with the pumpkins and I love the way that they grow in the game. They become different colors as you can see as well. So on this farm, it looks like the farmer, so to speak, has segmented the pumpkins based off of their color. So you have the orange patch, you have the green, the yellow, and the white, and it creates a really nice, very organized farm, if you will. Eric seems to be very much enjoying it in the background too. What a stinking cutie. And I love how the scarecrow and the shovel very much fill up the space. One thing I love too is on that left side over there, this pumpkin patch kind of blends into the orchard of this island, which I thought was a really, really nice way to kind of combine all of these edible elements within Animal Crossing I love. And here we are at a strawberry and cherry patch. I thought this farm was so quaint and so adorable but also stunning too. So if you are not familiar, if you plant red pansies, and correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure red pansies, and then you pluck them once they are fully grown, let them get to a certain growth phase, they'll look like this and they resemble either cherries or strawberries or whatever fruit you want them to be. And I think that's just so unique and so special. Using flowers as items that would otherwise be fruits and vegetables, you know, how people use the purple hyacinths and mums to look like grapes, right? And here we have these beautiful red flowers looking like strawberries and cherries. And of course the bushes backing them to make it really full, really lush. And I love just the details too, like the flower bag on that stall in the background, the little decoy duck. Everything here is just so lush and beautiful. Now, this island had so many farms, it was hard for me to just showcase one, but I absolutely loved this area, particularly for these mush stools. I'm so happy to see someone mix up the different colors of mush stools. It gives some color to the island. It just brings some life into it. So I thoroughly enjoyed how this patch right here had multiple different color mush stools, as well as a few dropped mushrooms. And then right across the way, you have this incredible little pumpkin patch and something to point out as well this pumpkin patch is a good example on something totally different from what we just saw a minute ago where these are very much combined right you have the orange the yellow and the white pumpkins all combined together and they're not segmented out by color in different plots so this gives you an idea of how that would look like if you prefer to combine them instead of sort them out by their color coding or anything like that so i absolutely love these simple panels too i use the white barn doors that you see here on my previous island and potentially on my next one as well so absolutely love this little area i think it's just so quaint it's a good farm on the back of an island and yeah 10 out of 10 <laughs> and as you can see running this way too there's another little mush farm right there on this next farm little piece of inspiration we have this really sweet corner that has all of these purple flowers which could be lavender it could be grapes but particularly i love the acorns that are dropped on those custom designs to look like planter boxes i think that is so brilliant it's such a nice showcasing of how you know you can harvest different things plant different things grow seedlings etc and then look at these cows i think they're just so sweet on the umbrella and then over here we have a box of milk we have a chicken just so much love for this area in general I think it's absolutely adorable and it warms my heart but also look at the little designs behind these little barns there are some cows and then down the way you see some horses I thought this was so nice it brought such a realistic element to a farm to a barnyard area and I just thought it was really sweet I love that update that came into the game and then over here 
In between these areas, we just have a nice little wine and cheese <laughs> location, which I think is really sweet. So here is another apiary, which I loved this one in particular, not only because it's next to Bee's house, which I mean, bees, bees, come on, like so cute. <laughs> but I really like the different use of flowers here as well. You have the yellow cosmos, you have the white hyacinths, you have the white cosmos, and then you have the yellow hyacinths. So you have a lot of different floral options here. And then the gnome too, who looks like he's just tending to this little apiary is just absolutely precious. And I love the use of the turkey day wheat decor in the stall in the background as well. That's, oh, I'm in the way. <laughs> That's one of my favorite items to use as of late and looks really nice across all farms or any type of rural um, build that you're making. But yeah, I thought this apiary and little honey patch farm was just so, so nicely done. And I love that there's a walkway too so convenient. <laughs> and here we have another pumpkin patch farm. I love the fall vibes here. It made me want to time travel back into fall because I mean, come on, look at this. You have the massive pumpkin with the horses pulling the carriage. And then again, a great example on how you can mix up your pumpkin colors. But what I love about this pumpkin patch and farm here is that not only are they having planted pumpkins, which you can see they're the ones moving in the wind, but also just placed pumpkins, the jack-o'-lanterns turned around the opposite direction. I mean, it all looks so, so good and cohesive and gives it different shapes, different depth, different dimensions. And I mean, come on, this is a pumpkin hat. It's a pumpkin hat and it's placed right here and looks so, so nice. So I thought this was just a perfect little pumpkin patch and I really loved the details of all of the different elements um, turned different directions. I thought it looked so, so nice. And then we have the silo in the background and this incredible barn right here with the solar panels. It's just the perfect little size and it all looks just so perfect all put together. Our next example shows a farm that is completely different from the ones we've seen thus far, and that is a little tree farm. Not only is it just so adorable because stunted trees are possibly the cutest thing that you can do in the game, <laughs> but it's also really creative as well. The different usage of the placed axe, you have the log bench, you have the piles of wood, you have the acorn, the pine cone, everything here is just so purposeful and nice. And it's also just a really Really nice nod to Animal Crossing the game in general because you're constantly chopping down trees, catching bees. You guys know where I'm going with that, but I think this looks so good. And of course, when you stunt trees and plant a piece of fruit behind it so they remain stunted, it looks perfect right here because it almost just looks like new growth. And yeah, I think it's such a great idea. And during the holiday season, it looks super cute as well as if they are to be holiday trees or Christmas trees. I'm gonna shake the little tree just because I think it's adorable. <laughs> now this farm I really liked because of the colors. I mean this is another farm that is placed very very closely to an orchard and tons of these fruit trees. You can see they all kind of go back this way and it looks so nice but the colors in this one that is what very much drew me to it. You have all of these pumpkins, which look so lovely, but then you have the orange tree, the pear tree, the peach tree. You have some yellow hyacinths, some white hyacinths. You have the color from the bush that's blooming in the background. I mean, it all looks so nice. And then on top of that, the custom codes in combination with the actual dirt and game pathing. Oh, chef's kiss. This, it, it really looks so nice. And something about the hay in the background and the running faucet, it just all pulls everything together. And I feel like it all looks just so nice. Every little bit, huge fan. So this farm is so creative. As you can see, the sign says Zucker Farm or 
Is it like Smuckers? Because this is a jelly farm, which I thought was just so creative. So you have the little pot over there to indicate some jars potentially. And then you have all of this fruit, you have all of these pumpkins, and it's all right in front of Zucker's house. And if you're familiar with the brand Smuckers that does jelly, that was the inspiration behind this farm. And I thought it was so cute. Also, I don't think I've seen a barnyard quite this colorful and fun. And I just thought it was so perfect. I had to share it. And I just think it's so creative. It just goes to show that you can have a jelly farm, you can have a cat farm, you can have a chicken and bee farm. There are no rules to this game. It's just all about your creativity. And our last example is this oh so adorable beachside strawberry picking patch. And it just, again, goes to show that there are no rules. If you want a farm on a beach, you put a farm on a beach. This looks so, so lovely. I particularly love the cottage core warm vibes that this area is giving off. And all of these little custom coats kind of sprinkled throughout the actual strawberry patches, as you know, which are actually pansies, really fills up the space and looks so lovely. And Bo's hanging out here, so I feel like he gets it a stamp of approval too. But even the tiny details, like the little strawberry cake here on the right hand side, kind of ties in this area for me. And I just think it looks so nice with the single barbed wire pieces of fencing, the little watering can on top of the stool, all of it. I think it's just so nice. More strawberry beaches. <laughs> And then also to tie everything together, you can see that right over here on the left. There are just some areas with other pieces of fruit. You have the little Yule log as well with the strawberries on it. You have a little scale to weigh what you've gathered. It's all just so sweet. Don't forget to give these creators some love. I have made sure to credit them in the description box as well so that way you can follow them on social media if they do have those accounts available. With that said, y'all, I hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you are in the world, and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye bye